Good morning. I am Lisa Houck, the hippie chick, and today I have the ever popular Dane Henning. I'm the psychedelic dude. Yes, you are. <laughs> so that's that's what I can come up with. <laughs> and you've got the hippie beads I got my on beads today. With the yes. peace signs. The peace signs. Peace and stuff. Peace yeah. and stuff. Yeah, peace and stuff. So how are you doing in the I'm new good. year? I'm good. So far 2020 has been okay. I'm still having a hard time writing 2020, but it'll writing it'll 2019 come. still. Actually it's at the end of 2019, I was still writing 2018. So, I mean, at least I'm caught up to 2019. So You're yeah. making progress. I'm making progress. Progress is Progress key. is good. Yeah. 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 Speaking of progress, we started a new challenge last week. Yeah. Yep. Which was um, to get more exercise mm -hmm. and drink 64 ounces of water a day. So, have you um, I, been I, participating I, in that? I've been doing the exercise. Uh, awesome. And I'm not hitting the water, though. Mm -hmm. Are you still drinking as much Mountain Dew? Uh... Yeah, mm. yeah, but I'm drinking a bit more water though. So okay, I, anything's better again, than nothing. Again, progress. Absolutely, again progress. progress. So I never have trouble with my water because I just always have a drink in my hand. You do. So. You always have a drink. In your mm -hmm. hand. You always. And that, that sounded a lot worse than what it was well, meant to yeah, say. Well, it's water. It's I promise, water. it's water. <laughs> but um, the exercise is the part that's hard for me, especially mm -hmm. in the winter time, because mm -hmm. I'm a very outdoorsy person. Right. And I would rather go out and hike oh, sure. up and down and sure. through the woods than sure. get on a treadmill. Yeah. And I know that a lot of people, they have their, um, so my wife and I are attempting to go back to the gym because we used to be somewhat a gym rat. Very good. And um, one thing that I did say was we can't do it at the beginning of the year because everybody's going to have their new year's resolution to be working Busy. out yeah. <laughs> gyms sell the most memberships yeah. at the beginning of the year and typically it doesn't start thinning out a little bit until about march so we're probably gonna <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna do things at home until then we'll do yeah we'll we'll, mm -hmm. we'll do some workouts at home and stuff until um until until probably march very so, nice so, yeah. very nice yeah. well i'm i pulled out my we fit oh yes my, yes. Mm -hmm. So I had that from many, many moons ago. Yeah. And yeah. I had not been on there in ages. Mm -hmm. And so I pulled that out and Lexi helped me get it all set up in my little area so I can just go in every day and turn it on. And what I love about it is it will actually weigh me and sure. figure my body mass sure. and it'll tell you how many calories you're burning mm -hmm. and how much, how effective an exercise is mm -hmm. toward calories and yep. So it's, it gives you a lot of information. And the games to me are, you know, it's more like a game than an oh, exercise. Yeah. Yeah, so sure. sure. But I have, um, I did three days out of the week. Mm -hmm. um, I started the first day doing 10 minutes and I moved up to 20 minutes for the other two. Cool. So I don't know whether I'll get a chance today because the days we film I, are long days for me because I don't live close to the studio. Right. It's dry for you. I it, do. It's dry. Um, and... But last night, it was just like something clicked. When I got done working out, I felt amazing. Mm -hmm. I know it was the endorphins and all sure. the things, you know, but it's just something. I did a little more challenging workout that time, mm -hmm. and I felt so good, and I got so much done. Oh, yeah. You know, because oh, yeah. normally Sundays, I try to be, you know, relaxed mm -hmm. and lay back a little bit and rejuvenate. And well, so I, it was awesome. Gary, he does, he, he's a runner. Oh, and, I'm um, always amazed by people that can Ga do that. Yeah, I cannot run. If I, I'm running, you better run too because something's going to get us. I don't do cardio. I just... Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Not for me. I don't like cardio. Okay. <laughs> At all whatsoever. At all whatsoever. But yeah. Yeah. So uh, the um, exercise has been increasing. The water has been increasing a little bit. A little That's bit. a progress. But a progress. Uh, yeah. maybe just try... To be conscious of how many sodas you're drinking a day. Yeah. And maybe just delete one and mm -hmm. change that over to water. And do that for a yeah. week or so. Well, yeah, I, I was I was cutting back quite a bit. Good. Uh, a, a while back and then I just kind of... Sorry. You slapped. Well, I did. I that's did. That's okay. We I all did. have those moments. I Obviously, I did too mm -hmm. with my workout. But right. now that I'm back into it, I want to keep going because it felt so good. Yeah. Oh, it does. Yeah, it definitely does feel good. Definitely yeah. does feel good. Yeah. So I hope you all are joining us. I know my friend Jason Cummings um, posted mm -hmm. on on uh, the CNA TV Facebook post that he was joining me for it. And we've actually been messaging each other mm -hmm. every night oh. telling... Whether we worked out or not. Holding each other accountable. Holding each other accountable. We got cool. our base weights. We got our base measurements. And we are holding each other accountable. Even if it's just a quick, 
you know, I didn't get to work out, but I walked four miles because I was hunting <laughs> in sure. this case. Sure. And, and I got 40 ounces of my water. Cool. Perfect. You know, and then we just give each other an update. So if you would like to be in on that group chat and, and, uh, have us all hold each other accountable, reach out to me and I will get you in there with us awesome. and we'll all, yeah. we'll all help each other. Yeah. That actually sounds really cool. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Well, what, you know, one of the things I want to talk about today mm -hmm. is, um, gosh, you know, around the holidays, how busy it is oh, yeah. <laughs> and you know, you're getting pulled in every yeah. direction. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we feel it a little more at the holidays, but all year for moms, mm -hmm. <laughs> especially, sure. you're always getting asked to do something for the kids' school, for work, for the PTA, for, you know, mm -hmm. church, for whatever. Mm -hmm. You're getting pulled in a hundred different directions. I want to tell you, it is okay to say no. It I don't is. think people... I realize it's okay to say no. I, I, I have a similar problem even. I mean, I, it's hard for me to tell people no, especially when they, they need me or whatever the case might be. You're a pleaser. I, yeah. You're a people and so pleaser. I, I, I'm like, yeah, sure. And I might, not, I might not have time, <laughs> but I do it anyway. <laughs> yes, of course, of course. Please, let me help you with yes, this. Yes. Let me help you with the situation. But it's okay to put yourself first. Sure, yeah. You yeah, know? I agree. And uh, this graphic we've got up behind me, a lack of boundaries invites a lack of respect. I saw that and that's what made me start thinking about this. That's interesting. It is because I think if you say yes, I'll do something mm -hmm. and you can't put a hundred percent of yourself into it to do it, do the best possible job for that person that you can, that that makes you look bad. It makes them oh, yeah. look bad and feel bad. Oh, yeah. You both feel bad. And, and that you know, then you think, well, I can't rely on that person. Sure. You know, and that that respect issue. Well, that also takes away from other things that you have prioritized as well. I mean, mm -hmm. if you're saying yes to everybody, something's getting... Something's it, getting dropped somewhere. I, yeah. Somebody once told me that you have $24. Think So you have 24 hours in a day. Uh -huh. Think about it. If for every hour you have a dollar, it depends on how you spend that dollar. That's a great way to think of how it. How is it that you want to spend that dollar and... It depends on what your prior where your priorities lie because if you have a dollar say that something's gonna take an hour it's you're not gonna have that dollar for whatever else whether it be work whether it be family whether it be whatever the situation might be you you, you end up finding yourself bankrupt mm. pretty quickly that's really an interesting yeah. way to look at it I really like that cars into sleep cars into mm -hmm. like I said so part so, you know you're supposed to have eight dollars and mm -hmm. um, Eight dollars, basically. Think of eight dollars of sleep, and yep. so if you're busy saying yes to everybody, that's going to carve into that too. And, that's and I you want too. my sleep, so that makes it easier for me. <sighs> yeah. And I think it's important to remember you're not saying no to them; you're saying no to taking away your time. And you're saying yes to you. You're saying yes to you. That means you value your time. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and you know, I think people so rarely think about their time as having a value, sure. but it truly does. I mean, when you mm -hmm. work, you think you have a value for an hour, you know, I'll work for this number for an mm -hmm. hour. Well, they, so. they, they say time is money and I mm -hmm. think about it. Time is value. Time has a price. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. We only have so much of it and in your a day. Is, we only have so much of it in yeah. a lifetime and you have to use that. And it's valuable. Mm -hmm. It's not, it, it doesn't matter if you need to take a nap if you want to sit and read a book no matter what you want to do it's if that's important to you and it helps you rejuvenate and be ready to start fresh in a new day then you must take that time for yourself mm -hmm. it's so important to take care of yourself well there, there's also a lot of um a lot of economists and stuff like that people that try to help others out of debt and things like mm -hmm. that they say be as charitable as possible but first you have to take care of what's going on in with your finances first before you can be charitable. And same concept yep. be, be with as, your time. Be as charitable as possible, but you have got to take care of, and so basically let's use the same concept with time and money, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Whether you're not actually using actual money to serve this purpose, it's the principle still stays the same. You need to take care of what you need to do so that way you can be charitable with your time. That's right. Yeah. That's absolutely right. And your like energy that. and stuff like that. Yeah. And you can't make everybody happy. No. You are not a jar of Nutella. <laughs> I've tried you that. <laughs> I've tried that. It doesn't work. Yeah. It doesn't work. It doesn't. And one more thing I wanted to say about yeah. it that somebody said to me is you're not, remember, you're not asking permission 
to say no when you turn somebody down. Yeah. They're asking you for something you should not feel guilty about. Yeah. You're not asking permission to tell them no. Yeah. You don't have to explain to them why. And there are That's nice, a really good point. nicer ways That's really to good. say it. Because when I do say no, I have to come up with this. Yeah, and there really shouldn't, reasoning you really shouldn't behind, have to. Just say, you know, yeah. I just don't have time for that right now, or I don't have time to give that the mm -hmm. consideration it needs, mm -hmm. you know, to be done sure. properly. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you say it that way, then it, you're not really explaining why you don't want to do it. You're just saying you and don't. If, and if that's that tough time. for you, I totally understand. <laughs> It, it's incredibly yes. as that is that too in and of itself is also incredibly difficult to do as it well. Is. But it makes it a lot easier to do, especially I, I know for me it it is very difficult mm -hmm. to tell somebody no. And what, but I will tell you from firsthand experience when I do do that, it tends to come back and bite me in the butt. So why? Why do you say that? No, when I do, not not oh, when I say when no. You say no when, when you, I say yes and, and I don't have it through. and I can't and it always the way you want yeah. Always comes back to mind. So, <laughs> so a word of wisdom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just say no. It's okay. Just say no. It's a, it's like drugs. Just say no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, say no to drugs. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you for being on the show Thanks with me today. Me. This, uh, thank you for the beef. I'm going to steal these. No, because no? all the guests wear them. But you can come back next week and be my guest because Lexi was supposed to do it. Okay. And she's passed out on the couch in the other room. That Lexi. <laughs> so, she's incorrigible. She's, she's going back to college. So I may college have you. Kids. I may have you in since she's gonna That's fine. fly the coop on me. That's fine. I'm looking so, forward to it. Let's all right. do it. Sounds great. All right. all right, until we see you next time. Peace out. <laughs>